Fernando. Oh yeah, Fernando. Ball dog, ball dog straight. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> bro, this shit is steaming, bro. Look at this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, hello. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, all of them are good, but yeah. this shit is like. And it was fast. It was fast, but it it, it was like. Let's go. We out. Look, I always suck the top, the lid, the lid of the top. <laughs> what the fuck kind of shit was that? <laughs> Bro, because you know how there is like you take off the cap, the lid, the like, top part of the sauce, and there's sauce there. I don't like leaving it. I'm just stepping it up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm back here. I'll oh, take the foot, take the foot. <laughs> Fuck, wow, it's like bruised, all That's purple and shit. I got a Lido, Lido, Pat, Lido cane, I don't know what the heck that is. Patch on there. Abraham went to the restaurant and then he texted the group chat Yo, y'all need to go next door. That's the best glizzy I've ever had. <laughs> He's like, oh, wait, pause. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> yeah, everybody was like, yo, what's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> Fun fact about this show that I didn't, I didn't know about until I was going to come to it. There is a, like a church um, service that happens Sunday morning, tomorrow, in the show. Oh, yeah? Kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, so... You know how they have like education thingies? Mm -hmm. They have like a church service. Are we going to it? Yeah. At what time? I don't know, I'm gonna check today. But I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I think it's a, like more like a black church. Mm -hmm. It's pretty fire. But apparently the Broner Brothers, which that's the name of the show, they're like five brothers or something like that. I, I don't know too much about it. Three of them are like pastors. One of them is a bishop. Oh, wow. So like, they're like very, very, very like religiously like, you know, driven. center right here it's gonna be our first Broner Brothers show with my boy Ray my boy Monte Breezy we're about to be in here for the Brunner Brothers 2024 let's get it so Brunner Brothers 2024 first impression this is a huge building um, it's super amazing um, it looks pretty nice they have like a food area right over this area we're about to go in there um, they have the pillars with the names and everything. So, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty dope um, look and show so far. We're about to figure out what this is all about. And um, this is going to be super, super amazing. I'm super excited to see what this show is about. So, um, stay tuned. One more time, I'm with my boy Ray right here. Monte Breezy. We're going to register. Um, so far, I love um, everything is super organized. Everything is super good. Hell of people out there, out here on the first day. Um, we're gonna be at the exhibitors and educators. We're about to check in right now and get our tickets. So um, just stay tuned so we can figure out how this thing goes. Super excited. We just got in here. We just got our van vans. Um, so we got to keep this for three days, pretty much. Not a 60 bucks, so we're gonna make sure we keep it. Um, super easy process. We just go up to the booth. Um, we let them know who we are with. Um, they get our number. They get our IDs. And uh, once we give them our IDs, um, we're good to go. So um, super smooth transaction, super great show so far. Um, love exactly the location of it right next to the Mercedes um, um, Stadium right here in downtown Atlanta. Super, super busy. And um, it just looks amazing, man. We, I can't wait to get to the show. And uh, we're about to figure this thing out. Um, so right off the bat, as soon as you come in, you have... You know, salon centric. I'm guessing they're one of the biggest sponsors here. 
Um, Pure O Natural is also one of the biggest sponsors here. So um, this is something dope. This is huge. This place is huge. So you, this is like literally like a maze. So, but the best thing about this show is that there's somebody that is part of the show that is always helping out. You know, there's people with like these um, neon green shirts um, that are helping you answering every question. Um, you know, there's people that um, are telling you exactly where to go, people checking your band. So, I mean, there is a lot, a lot of people helping you get to your specific destination. Um, there's already a lot of people in education, and it's crazy because I've been to a lot of shows, but to have a lot of people in education on a Saturday, it's um, something that is uh, um, I really haven't seen much. Um, we're about to go in to the um, show. Um, we have something that it says right here, welcome to the Brunner Brothers Experience, so it's super amazing. Um, you can hear the music like coming off right now. So um, this thing is turned. Like you could, you could literally hear um, how turned it is as soon as you're coming down the stairs. So um, we're about to check all the sponsors right now. I know I could see Andy's. I could see a lot of big brands um, and a lot of people that um, are being part of the show. We're gonna be visiting a couple of booths that are a couple of friends. And I just ran to my boy Angel Ross right here from. Uh, Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Say what's up to the camera. You already the know it. Exactly. You Jacksonville. Here? Yeah, I drove. You drove. No, no, not the van. I came in the rental. I came with a couple of my guys. So okay, what's up, excited. Hey, nice Gonna catch oh, a game tomorrow home, too. Nice so. To yeah, everybody was talking about that. They playing. They playing against the Magic though. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. But we found like section 111 for sixty dollars. Really? Yeah. Y'all trying to go? I'm going. As long as I don't have team dinner with Andy. I just can't pay. I just can't pay no more than that for the fucking Hawks Magic game. But they got Barcaro and Trey Young. Like they're good. Like they're they're not bad. Magic is not doing bad this year. I mean, yeah, they got ball though. All right, yo. All right, I'll see you around, bro. Yeah. I met her, she has been nothing but great to me. She's gonna be at the Jack Tilly Barber and Beauty Expo. And just explain to them a little bit what you do um, for stylists and barbers in the industry. So when a person's battling cancer and they can't go to work but they still need to pay bills, we're the ones that raise money to help them pay their bills. So we partner with the beauty industry all over the country and people make donations so that we can help them. So there you go, if you're struggling, if you have cancer or anything like that and you need help, you can either contact me on social media so I can reach out to Ms. Jenkins and we can help you because we value you and we know that sometimes there's situations of life that come at you that you do not expect, but this lady is doing something great for the industry and it's giving back to people um, that co constantly give back to other people. So make sure that if you have cancer or anything like that, contact me and I will put you with Ms. Jenkins to get you help. Alrighty, thank you. All right, we're almost done with the first day and I'm gonna take you to the best premium handmade glasses in the market. If you wanna know somebody that supports Barber and the beauty industry, it's this guy right here. Mo is the best. So make sure you check out Habibi Sunglasses. Make sure you get your glasses and make sure that you let them know that Nando sent you. Follow them on Instagram. 
We're gonna keep touring a little bit, but we're almost done with the day, and we're gonna explain to you everything that we had for that um, for the Brother Brothers show. Yeah, so still on our way out, you see how they got people literally guiding you through everything. They got people guiding you through everything, letting you know where is the exit, where is the entrance. <laughs> Yo, but 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 I was just I was I was uh very impressed with uh with this uh show and with Brunner Brothers is super amazing. Double go enter through the double doors and enter the elevator. Send them a message to activate send us a message to activate the elevator to the fourth floor. Um, exit elevator, turn right. Okay. Turn right. <laughs> once, I was already right. <laughs> once at the end, the hall, turn right again. <laughs> yeah, upstairs. <laughs> Mira, these look big. Really? Mira, ample loose. Aquí. Yeah. I said buy him. Yeah, for 30 bucks, bro. Shit. Oh, gonna sing. Gonna sing me. <laughs> Yo, we're at the Regal. What is the Regal? Oh my god, that's the movies. Let's go to the movies. No. Whoa, let's go to the movies. Yo, we're out here. I don't even know what this is. I don't know what this is called, but this is somewhere in Jacksonville. I mean, not in Jacksonville, I'm sorry. In Atlanta, this is like everything is here. Have a little bit of everything. There's the movies, there's some macaroons, there's like some nice rooftops. This thing is lit. Lit, lit, lit. Got my boys with me. Hop Knob Tavern. They got all type of stuff out here. We're gonna go to Publix, you know I can't miss my Publix wings. Gonna get me some Publix wings, some stuff to eat in the morning. I, li I, li I like this Japanese. Let's check out this Japanese place. Oh, we already they, ate Japanese. They got this ya Giyakaku. Yakaku. Why? It's not cold as fuck. Cold, bro. Shit, man. Atlanta. Y'all did it to me, man. 51 Wendy. Feeling like Chicago, you man. You said win Wendy? <laughs> <laughs> not Wendy's. Wendy. <laughs> Second day, um, last uh, yesterday I didn't put a lot of stuff. I was super amazed with how the show went. Right now, um, we're on our way to a church service um, that they're going to have at the Brunner Brothers. So I'm super excited about that. It's the first show that I see that they have a church service. So we're about to figure that out. We're about to see a couple of other brands. And tonight we're going to go to the Atlanta um, Magic Games. Yo, it's not how expensive you buy. It's how you... You know how you buy it, where you buy it, and how you dress it up. Sheen shirt, sheen pants, just got the pandas on, still looking like money, Habibi glasses, and my boy right here is grippy as well. Love so much for you guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here, downtown Atlanta. They got a big screen back there. Um, we got Bishop Bronner uh, preaching right there. Um, they got buses, they got charter buses, they got all type of transportation out here to come and be part of a uh, church service downtown atlanta it's amazing um we're right in front of the cnn and um in front of the mercedes um benz stadium we're about to go to the georgia world congress center and um 
just figure out how this whole thing goes. So stay tuned for what we got coming. But this is super amazing. We got CNN right there. See the logo. They were running a 13.1 mile um, race. So that's pretty amazing. And um, they have a lot of parking out here. It is not cheap. I mean, it's actually very affordable. It's not, it's not the cheapest, but um, you could have parking anywhere from 15 to $40, depending where you're gonna be at. Um, if you get your parking ahead of time, it's a lot better. Do not wait till you come out here to come get your parking. It's a lot better to come get your parking ahead of time. So that's something that I did. I bought my um, ticket for the game and we bought my ticket for the um, for the parking as well. So that's something that you should uh, look forward on doing if you're trying to come to an, um, a Barber Beauty Expo or if you want to come through anything for um, for a event out here in Atlanta. So stay tuned people, make sure if you come out here, buy your parking. When you come to the State Farm Arena, you find yourself with this amazing player of the NBA, Dominique Wilkins. Arguably one of the best um, dunkers of all time. I personally think it's Vince Carter, but this guy right here is in the conversation for probably being the best dunker of all time. Nam Nain um, Smith, Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, Atlanta. Hawks all-time leading scorer, nine-time NBA All-Star, um, seven-time All-NBA, two-time NBA slam dunk, jersey number 21 retired, 85-86 NBA scoring leader with 13 or with 30.3 points per game, 26,668 points. That's the statue right there. Definitely one of the goats. Probably the goat of right here of Atlanta. So another statue that you will see out here on the State Farm Marina, the Vander Holyfield statue. That's pretty cool. I guess he's from right here from Atlanta. That's pretty fire. Another one of the goats of boxing as well. Fought big names. So that's pretty cool to watch. And right now we're going up some stairs and we are also right in front of the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which is an absolute beauty. That thing is an absolute beauty. That thing is an absolute beauty. We're already at the Georgia World Congress Center. We're about to enter to um, the church service. Um, I could hear the worship coming in. We're about to check how this thing is. They do a great job on giving you signs on where you have to go every single time. So this is amazing, the fact that they have so many um, signs telling you exactly where you have to go. Very, very informative. So. It's pretty cool. When you get your first house, gone. Your first car, gone. In the beginning, gone. You have a brand venue we're about to try chicken plate I believe that this is gonna be pretty good it's fine so let's check it out gonna be sharing uh, some chicken with my brother mm. yeah, yeah, I kind of don't want to share <laughs> yeah. actually good it's not that bad I wish I could have ate here mm. yesterday yesterday I ate the worst um, sure. Chinese food that I've ever ate in my life. Mac and cheese, it's not good. Mac and cheese is ass. Yeah, mac and cheese is not that great. Let's check the collard greens. You missed those stuff. Okay. Overall, the best food we tried here is the um, Chick-fil-A. Um, I mean, not public not, chicken. Well, we didn't have Chick-fil-A here. We had public chicken yesterday. Cornbread, let's check it out. Cornbread, kind of hard. But it ain't bad. My wife makes some good corn bread. Now the ribs, the ribs are. Yeah, you can't mess up no ribs. Yo, third day for the Brother Brother show. Yesterday we had an amazing time at the Atlanta Hawks. Orlando Magic time, um, and they have a great introduction. Like, like whenever they're introducing um, their players, this freaking fire comes out. I feel like that fire was in my freaking forehead. <laughs> the damn fire is all the way on the on the roof of the of the damn arena. 
So that was very impressive when the fire came out. They had this little like halftime show where they were from Japan. I know they were definitely Asian, but I don't know if they were from here, from Atlanta, or if they brought them from Japan. I thought I heard that they brought them from Japan. However, it was 50, like 50 teenage girls doing crazy stunts, doing crazy stuff. They were actually um, better than the cheerleaders um, in the team. <laughs> yeah, the, they don't have cheerleaders in, in Atlanta Hawk um, game. They kind of have like, how would you call that? How would you call that? Like hype girls? I would call them hype girls. They were just like hyping the crowd up and stuff. But um, we're about to see the third day for Brunner Brothers. If I'm not mistaken, what we had like a lot of students today. It was like students day. I think so, yeah. Yeah. So I think today's Students Day. We're about to see how many students they got, and we can um, figure that out. Stay tuned. For YouTube, you already know who it is. It's your boy Nando Corps. I'm super excited. We just finished our third day of the Broner Brothers show. Um, we had to leave early because we got to go back home. You know, we got to see our families, my kid, wife, everything. We got to see everything that we got going on. And we have to make sure that we get ready for tomorrow because we got to get back to work. Super excited this, this day. The last day was the shortest day, but I guess it was the most productive as well. We were able to speak with big brands, Andy's Wall. Um, Habibi sunglasses. Um, we were able to talk to a lot of companies that are going to be going to the Jax Elite Expo um, 2024 and they're going to be part of that expo and I'm super excited to even have big companies remember the brand and remember um, what we're all about. So I'm definitely, definitely excited about that. I have a lot of more things to share with y'all. Um, right now we're about to go uh, to the rental and we're going to drive back to Jacksonville. But man, overall, it was definitely one of the best experience. Broner Brothers did not disappoint. Atlanta did not disappoint. Everything was amazing. Everything was organized. Definitely an inspiration to me and to my team as well because that's gonna make sure that we can give everybody that same type of feeling and that same type of service. Um, stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot more, excuse me, we're gonna have a lot more stuff during the way on our way back to Jacksonville, and I'm super excited. Brunner Brothers 2024 was a complete success. Peace.